Hey guys, so it's been a minute, as they say in Ohio. I guess it's been a while, what I'm just saying back in Cali. Um, today is the 23rd of November, and I've just been out of place for a couple weeks. As you guys know, I've been whining and ranting about my job situation, how depressed I am and miserable, and it was a torture. And I just got into a really, really deep depression to the point where obviously super depressed, super sad, and I was stuck. I didn't know who to turn to. Um, I mentioned in the past, I have seek higher management and then to HR, and then was in the process of dealing with civil rights, which I did last weekend, and it is a long, treacherous process, and I kind of like, I don't know what else to do. So, um, I'm trying to tell you guys everything in detail and I don't know where to start um, so it finally came to the point where I needed to get the fuck out of this damn place and you know me I'm so scared of starting over and I don't leave or quit until it's almost to the point that it's killing me physically emotionally psycho psychologically and that's just how I am, and that's what happened with the last job. Except I can say that this job at Ohio Health, yeah, I'm going to say it, Ohio Health, and the, the department I worked at, Robotic Urological Surgeon, Dr. Ronnie Abbas's office in Dublin, Ohio, was full of shit. The man I worked for is a wonderful doctor, but the staff... The new staff and the nurse, Sandra Regal, is the most... <sighs> I just have no words for her. She is just horrible. And to think that I have been nice to her, have felt sorry for her, and try to communicate with her, no matter how much she made me feel bad about my work belittled me, very confrontational with me, always blaming shit on me and favoritism. I was pretty much treated the worst at that office and have in mind three other people, including me as four that have, le have left that damn office for the same issues. And I, th I was definitely the one that got treated so horribly. There were many times I have cried at that office I have spoke to my manager, Francesca Sanford, who failed to help me, who sided with Sandry, Sandra. It sucks that just because she is a so-called clinical nurse manager, she has that power over me, and I am not the only one who have said the same thing. And to the point that when all the new workers came in because everyone pretty much left still didn't believe how horrible this crazy nurse is so obviously until now they are taking her side they have been fake with me they have been they befriended my other co-worker who has been have been can't talk right super duper nice to me since day one and she saw how cruel this nurse is and it came to the point that she put her in the mix and poor poor her got in trouble for stupid reasons as much as me and she almost has nothing to do with her she's a research nurse in the back office doing her thing and they knew that I was close with her so they made her life a living hell at work which is crazy and so much I can say so much I can complain but when I have more time, I'm going to have to do like a video on the things that she did to me and read you guys the letters that my co-workers have wrote and 
understand what I have wrote to HR. And of course, HR fails to do anything. And I already knew that, but I thought I'd give it a try. They failed to reach out to me when I complained to them at the beginning. Um, I asked for an exit exam. They failed to do that too with the same excuse. The guy's car got into a pothole or something bad happened. And that's what happened the last time too. The guy that I was initially supposed to talk to, he's the head of HR or something like that, failed to see me. So therefore, I put in my two weeks. Friday was my last week. I mean, my last day at the damn place. And, you know, I was in process of, of applying within Ohio Health. And that place really, really liked me. But then, all of a sudden, I get a call from OSU during the same week. And I went to an interview. I felt like it didn't go too well. But then, they actually, you know called all my previous jobs, including this one, and get this, they called every single job that I've had and I have listed, as well as the professional um, references that I put on the list. Everyone had high reviews about me except for this particular one. My office manager stated that I have conflict issues with my nerves. Therefore, the nurse that interviewed me at OSU called and questioned me and it put me on a spot. I was so nervous when she called and asked me, but being nervous on the phone at the same time and pissed off, I told her straight up, look, I have been harassed at this office for months and months and have in mind that I am the fourth person that is leaving this practice due to the same reasons and that I have reached higher management and have spoken to her and nothing has changed and I, nothing else I can do. So I am moving on to a more positive environment. And I really thought that was the end of me. Um... Turns out, I got the job offer from the first place within Ohio Health and also the second job offer the same week with Ohio State. And I was leaning towards Ohio State just because it's also closer to my house and that I was so fed up with Ohio Health that they didn't help me. Why should I represent Ohio Health? Why should I work in a company that does not support me, does not does not help me, but yet they help people who have supposedly higher power. So, sorry if I'm all over the place. But anyway, the first place that really wanted me was disappointed, but it was a wonderful place too. But I just wasn't quite sure. I, I, just, I just wanted to get away. So I finally said yes to... The one that I chose at Ohio State, it's internal medicine, and I did take a lower pay, which is not a huge pay cut. It was just as if what I was offered when I first started Ohio Health, which is not a big deal. Plus, where I'm going to, it is not a private hospital versus Ohio Health. I don't think much to it about that, but... Um, it's government and it leads to, you know, poor people, which I don't have a problem with because I can relate because I'm not rich. I'm not in middle class, you know what I'm saying? And the culture, um, diversity because it's more on the west side of Columbus. Um, when I walk into the hospital, um, there's more than one locations, same thing as Ohio Health. Diversity, that's what I was looking for. Um, Hope I, I don't offend anybody from the States, but it's so nice to see black people around you. Because I'm used to having so many different kinds of friends around me. And I have in mind, Ohio is pretty much white. And it was just nice. And people were just smiling at me. And people seem 
really friendly and nice, walking around, nurses, staff members, people in general around the hospital. And then when I walked for my interview um, a couple weeks ago, I saw so many ethnicities in the office, including the patients. I saw Chinese, I saw Middle Eastern, I saw white, I saw African American. Um, just pretty much very diverse. Um, but besides that, you know, I I've tried. I've tried in Ohio to get comfortable, and I can't. And and I'm sorry. If that's how I grew up in the Bay Area, it's very diverse. So that was one of the main reasons why I chose to be here. Now I don't know whether to be nervous or like it's hitting me, but not hitting me quite yet. Don't know really how to explain. Um. So anyway, it's been torture and hell at the job that I left. You know, I've been complaining since May. She has put me through hell. I couldn't sleep. I just turned food and eat and eat, which is why I've gained so much weight. I did not have the energy. Even if I slept forever and ever, I wake up dreading, ill feeling, like throwing up in the morning. Just so much anxiety to the point I couldn't even cry no more. I've had so much nightmares like all over the place. Like my dreams were tiring. I can't remember everything in detail, but sometimes it's memories from the past, memories of stuff that she has done to me. It's just, just everything. And then anyway, since she found out I was going to Ohio State, which, where she came from, which she got demoted, just, just horrible. She make me feel even worse. She'll be sarcastic with me. She'll make little comments like, oh, I'm going to give this to you since you're going towards that way. Also because um, some of the referrals that we do, I talk to this guy who works at Ohio State, but then she always rubs it in. Oh, and by the way, I'll give this to you since you're going towards that office. And by the way, Wes works on the second floor with you, so you'll be seeing him around there too, blah, blah, blah. I'm like... You don't need to tell me that. You don't need to rub it in. It's just very unprofessional. Or she joke around about being on drugs and stuff. And she would praise the other medical assistant who is a, a fake, immature, 28-year-old. Long story. I shall explain that in another video. She has tried to make me feel jealous, make me feel stupid, but she would praise this other girl, Kimberly K. Nart, her name. Find her on Facebook. She's just, I've never been around so much negativity, so much weird attitudes and fake people in my entire adult life. So anyway, she'll be like, oh, you're so awesome, K. Nart. You're the best. You're the only one I can count on like, every single day. She's never done that to me, and it'll happen once in a blue moon, and she definitely be super nice to me when Dr. Abbas is around. Thank you, Renee. You're so awesome. You're so awesome. You're great. But besides that, she does acknowledge me. She blames things to me. She talks to me like I'm stupid, and just confrontational all the time, but it was just horrible. I did what I had to do at that place. I did not, like most people that are, are about to leave, don't give a fuck and letting the others handle it. But for me, I still have pride in what I do because for the sake of my patients, I still finished shit so the bitches don't have to suffer, which they still will because the shit that I do and handle because I do fucking everything, they don't know how. And then turns out, right before I was leaving, the auditors were coming in and discussing stuff with the manager, and they were stressed out because there's some documents that aren't scanned. And then she had the nerve to start blaming stuff on me, and I raised my voice. I said, "You," because she asked, "Well, what happened to them? How are you gonna ask me and other girl what happens to it when we get faxes? When I've been here for a fucking year, and all the girls I've left have been here a year." What the fuck do I do all day besides all the other shit that I do every single day, including that? So I say to her, 
when we or I see faxes, I print an original to her and I stamp it and I transfer it to my folder and it gets uploaded into Centricity. And then she got silent. I'm like, what the fuck? So it's like all this shit that she does on her end, seeing patients, taking catheter out, stuff like that. She never documents anything. She never finished her document. She never signed for a fucking whole year. And she's in trouble. And now that auditors are coming again to check because there's some missing documents in our EMR. And that's electronic medical records. She's worried and she's finding someone to blame. And that I'm leaving now. She's going to question about it. Karma. The only person, two people that were super nice to me, of course, the people that have left and the two people that are still there, they're not in the position to leave because they are higher. One of them is a physician assistant and the other is a research nurse, but they know how Sandy Regal is. So, but those are the only two that have supported me since day one and have been in tears that I am leaving, but they said, I need to get the fuck out of here. And, you know, they can only help me so much but um yeah I'm I'm all over the place like I don't know what else to tell you I like I really want to tell you guys in detail like in detail because I feel like me being able to express everything that I have been through clears my mind give me some closure even though I don't think I would get the closure that I want with this job just because there's things that I want to do to get her in trouble, to get her terminated. It ain't going to happen. I don't have that power. Even the civil rights things is too much work. Like I don't know if my other friend's going to be able to give all the documents to her because they need certain dates and stuff. And I don't have those and I don't have time to go back and forth. And it's like I'm just waiting. All I can do is wait for... How you say it? God's work. Nature take its course. I don't know. But also moving on. And that is a hard thing. Me moving on. Like when I moved on from the last job. Which made me feel so depressed. And sad. And both jobs have made me want to commit suicide. And that's the sad part. Because... No one or anything should ever make you feel like that. Like, I'm already going through stuff with my weight issues and going through family issues as always. And those are never ending. But to come to work because you're at your job for freaking all day long. They're like your family. And if that's the one thing that you go to to try to be happy besides everything else in your life and you don't get that, it is a horrible feeling. And anyone that has gone through this work environment toxic crap know what I'm talking about. And I get teary having to say that I have suicide thoughts. Right now, talking to you right now, saying this, I don't. But it has happened so many times. And I told you guys I would never do that to myself. But it's sad to have those kind of thoughts. People don't know what it's like to be depressed or alone or anxiety if you've never gone through it. And you tell your friend, oh, it's going to be okay. And then when you're so negative, you pushed your good friends away. But it, but that's the sad part. When your own f- so-called real friends don't want to be around you because they don't understand it. And then seeing other people around you so happy and just... Everything seems great on their end. Makes you feel like shit. And my room is messy. So if I don't end up sleeping, I will most likely vlog some more. Like I want to read those letters to you guys and tell you stuff in detail. What this crazy nurse have done to me. I wish you guys just could just write her evil messages on her Facebook how cruel she is, but then that would be mean. But just in case, Google her. Sandra, S-A-N-D-R-A, Regal, R-I-G-E-L. Columbus, Ohio. Something like that. 
and you will find it. She has this really crazy curly hair, and she looks, she's just, I think she's white, but then she looks Native American mixed. I think she has Indian in her, but, um, she's not a very nice person. She has demons in her own life. She's been abused by her husband and got beaten up, and you would think someone like her would be nice to someone like me or just be nice in general. You would think, but nope. So, um, I'm starting my new job tomorrow. I'm nervous, but not nervous, but I think it'll probably hit me tomorrow. And I'm sorry I'm all over the place, but I promised one of my buddies that, my YouTube buddies, thank you, you know you are, who text me all the time to make me feel better, want an update. So my friends, sometimes if you can't handle your current job and you have done your all to try to fight it, to try to make it better, sometimes the best thing is to just get the fuck out and move on. It's hard, but just do it and just know that you have the experience. Look who's talking. You have the experience, um, everyone can get a job, whether you have experience or not. Worst kind of worse, McDonald's, <laughs> grocery stores, retail stores, they will hire you. And there's under the table jobs too, you just, just don't give up. Even if you do, there's hope, there's hope. And sometimes you don't take your own advice, and I know I definitely don't when all those bad stuff is happening. It's just, you feel like it's the end of the world. So, yeah, guys. I want to tell you guys in detail but that's what's been happening to me and then uh, wish me good luck um if you guys have any questions ask me i would totally love to answer them or you guys have any advice or suggestions let me know but um that is my partial i guess update so yeah bye guys